What is up, everybody? Happy Saturday to you, and welcome back. I was not expecting to do another video this weekend. Um, I really didn't think we were going to be getting anything else in um, on the weekend, but look, lo and behold, we've got three returns. So I uh, honestly, I, I couldn't wait until like Monday or Tuesday to open this up. So um, I'm like a kid on Christmas morning sometimes when I get mail. So I uh, wanted to go ahead and get a video in so that we could open these up and see what we've got. Um, spoiler alert. <laughs> I can see what one of these is based on the fact that the person put their uh, their own uh, return sticker on there. So um, we're going to start off with that one today. So you guys remember um, last week I had done a video about international postage and um, specifically Canada for me. Um, as you'll see with this envelope here, we've got Canadian postage coming back. Um, so this is what I had put on there. I actually had some postage left over. So, um, I went ahead and fired this out. Um, spoiler alert, Phil Goyette, old school, uh, Montreal Canadian and, um, New York Ranger. And, uh, no research was needed to figure out who this one was. So let's go ahead and hop right in and see what we got here. All right. Uh, very cool. All right. So what we're going to start with here is the cards that I sent out to them. Um, sent out two Rangers cards and a Montreal card. Um, these were reprint cards that were done uh, retro styled. Um, and I had had this Rangers card for a while and just never got around to sending it out. And this Montreal card here, um, I've had... Um, a bunch of those actually so he signed all three for us and then as a bonus he tossed in a Montreal Canadiens alumni card um, I have seen where some of these guys will do things like this um, I have not received one yet like I know from time to time Guy Lafleur sends it out Jan Courier um, will send out um, but I have yet to have received any myself so this was kind of neat uh, being able to get that. So, um, interesting thing with these cards here, these Rangers cards, these were not like a regular issue. If you see, these were actually numbered. Um, it was a set of cards I got. Actually, I had done an online order with Dave and Adams. And if you order up to a certain amount, you get free promo items that you can pick from. And they had this really cool six card set. It was like an original six set. Um, and it's the Ranger card in there was Phil Goyette. So I picked up a couple of these sets. Um, and I've got, I think, one or two other ones out of the set signed. Um, I'm trying to remember who. I, I think Stan Makita was the uh, Black Hawk for it. Um, I know that Johnny Buschick was the Bruin. That's one that I got signed. I think Dave Keon may be the Toronto Maple Leaf for it. So, um... I think I've got three of the six signed. So anyway, um, this one took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. I, I was seeing returns uh, online from people for Goyette for the last couple of weeks, and mine wasn't showing up. So um, certainly the whole international lines and um, how the postal services are working right now, especially with anything traveling internationally, you definitely got to allow for extra time. Um, so I'm just stoked to get this back. Um, I haven't had his autograph before, so this is always kind of nice to add in old school, especially with an old school Ranger. So great way to start out. All right, next up. This is coming back out of Metroplex, Michigan. I have no idea where Metroplex, Michigan is. And um, honestly, I didn't really look to see uh, what I had pending out there in Michigan. So this one is going to also be just a complete and total surprise. Ah, okay. Cool. Frank Tanana. So Frank is an awesome, awesome TTMer. Um, he is always happy to sign, it seems, and um, really... Uh, it is a great asset to the autographing community. Um, I, something I, I guess I didn't know is he's a no, he must be a no dupes guy. 
Um, I just tossed that in there. I had like one last Mets card left, um, so I decided I would toss that in. All good. I, I'm not going to complain at all. Um, so Frank uh, sent him four. I got four back. Um, one thing that Frank does is he is very much a religious person, and he sends out these um, Bible cards, or I shouldn't say Bible cards, religious cards. He sends these out with his requests. So it's really neat, and um, he has different Bible verses that he puts on there. Uh, John 14, 6, John 3, 16, and John 3, 36. Um, so this is, this is cool. Um, always like getting my Mets, and Frank has always been a great TTMer. Um, so I, I'm very happy to get him. I have written to him once before, um, several years ago, and I had come across these cards here and wanted to go ahead and see about getting them signed. So uh, very happy with that. Um, turnaround time on this was about two weeks or so. Okay, so on to our last one. This is, it looks like it's out of New Jersey. Um, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes with it. If it is New Jersey, I've got a decent idea who it might be. Um, but we'll see here. Uh, n not who I was expecting uh, based on that, but very cool. Tim Kerr. Tim is another great guy signing through the mail. Um, I actually didn't have him. Um, as, during his playing days or retired so this is actually a first for me um, getting him on some old early 90s Rangers cards was great and I had to toss in um, the Opeachy archives I've actually for a while there I was working on this set pretty heavy duty and then I slacked off on it um, and I've, I've kind of circled back around in the last couple of years here um, with some of my excursions to the Hall of Fame. I've been lucky enough to get some of these uh, signed and um, there's still a lot of guys out there that are accessible um, either because they work somewhere in the league or uh, they're good through the mail. Um, they're just around. So I think I'm going to have to pick up trying to get them again. Um, so uh, don't be surprised if you start seeing some more of these Opeachy or Tops archives um, coming in some future returns. But um, four Rangers cards to add in, so uh, that's a great day. Um, for not really expecting anything to come in with the holiday weekend, to then turn that around and get in uh, three returns, uh, three solid returns, um, is really a great, great way to spend the weekend. So, to recap, we got five of five from Tim Kerr. We got... Um, it was four that were sent, and we got four back, so we're just going to call that 4 of 4 um, from Frank Tanana. And then from Phil Goyette, we got 4 of 3 is what we would call that. Um, with him uh, tossing in the extra card there, so um, really we, we ended up with two nice little bonuses, uh, one with the Frank Tanana. Frank, ah, Frank Tanana religious card, and then the Phil Goyette oversized card. So um, I'm very happy with the results today. Um, so I don't think we'll have a video. I don't think there's any mail on Monday. So um, hopefully that just means that we're going to have even more stuff when we get to Tuesday and get into next week. I know I sent out uh, eight or nine TTMs this morning, stuff I was working on um, last night. Um, just putting some finishing touches and getting some stuff sent out, a little bit of everything, some hockey, some uh, football, some baseball, um, even a little bit of wrestling in there. So um, hopefully in the coming weeks we'll get some of those returns back. Um, I appreciate, as always, uh, everyone that's uh, watching the videos and enjoying everything that I'm putting out there. Um, always feel free to comment if you'd like. And um, I will uh, do my best to reply back. And if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer anything that I can for you. But everybody, stay safe this weekend. Have fun. Enjoy yourselves. And we'll talk to you next week.